in deep to like what we thought the reverse retro jersey was going to be the wild officially release it on monday to correlate with a bard on beauties episode release so we appreciate that you know yeah, there's th- extra thanks momentum. for dropping that two minutes after <laughs> we finished recording um but it's not any different than what we expect i thought they played it a little safe you have the north stars colors yes. i wish there was a little bit more black pulled from the north stars coloring um and then you've got the bearhead logo not bad. I'd give it a 9.5. Alexis, you said it was like a six, 9. right? 9.5. I gave it a six. Okay. Wow, that's I feel- <laughs> high ranking. Wow. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be nice to people. I know people are just fired up about it. It's a better than the colors like they have now. See, I like the colors they have. Um, yeah. and I just, I hate the color yellow in general. Like the color yellow really gets me worked up and I'm not sure why. Like yellow is supposed to make people happy and it just makes me angry. So. <laughs> well, this is like a weird yellowing though. Like a gold is. yellow is pretty, but like a yellow yeah. yellow like so yeah. I was like okay a lot of yellow like right in the middle of the jersey that was like my first reaction to it and I was like okay it's cool like it you know you get like the nostalgic vibes but it's still true to the wild which we've said this on the podcast before but I saw a lot of people saying like why didn't they do just like an n on the shoulder it's like they don't have the rights to the north stars so they mm-hmm. can't do to the um to the design so they literally have to work with the north stars colors and their lo- and their own logo they mm-hmm. can't do that. So I saw a lot of people saying like, oh, it's kind of lame. They didn't try hard enough. It's like, well, they didn't really have an option. So they did what they could. I they think. did what they could. It's cool. I like it. I would wear one. Um, but there were, I think there was just some others that came out that were so cool. Like the Ducks one was fantastic. The Coyotes mm-hmm. one was fantastic. I love the, the New Ducks York Rangers. I thought the Ducks one was the worst. Oh, it's my favorite. Yeah, like I, I love teams that kind of let it have fun with it. I mean, yes. you had guys that the only team that I was okay with playing it safe was Montreal because it's so perfect. Yeah. It's so clean. It looks so nice on that dark blue. Um, but you had like the Islanders. I'm kind of like, what did you do yeah. there? Boston. You know, some teams really bossed. Yeah. Like, yeah, I like Pittsburgh's. I like the Pittsburgh is cool. diagonal the Pittsburgh. I thought the lettering was pretty nice. Um, and again, that's where I think the wilds is just kind of middle of the road. Like, yeah, it was good. It wasn't bad. Um, I I'm saw, just going like, to say one of- thing though. Can I say it real fast? I saw on yeah. Twitter and someone absolutely nailed exactly what's wrong with the the wild jersey subway that is a yes. subway foot long wrapper texted me on the sleeve yeah. Of that. <laughs> yeah it's the wild ones are cool i put them in the middle of the road there's definitely a handful that i like a lot more but there's some that did not really do anything and the wild are above that one um, right so but i saw a lot of people like did like power rankings of the new jerseys and the wild yeah. actually ranked pretty high on most yeah. people's power rankings so it seems like you know you know pe- the hockey fans enjoyed them so you yeah. had kind of already said your favorite. So my yep. favorites were the Ducks. Yep. I really, I mean, Phoenix was up there too, but I also really liked LA because I thought it took yes. all the best parts of their former jerseys. Yes. Oh, yeah. They have and I thought great they, classic jerseys. Yes, like them. And then I do, I really liked Montreal's. I was like, God, that just, that's a sharp looking jersey. So See, what else like, did you like? Well, I was just wanting to say the mustard yellow old school LA jerseys, prime time. Yeah. Take those 10 out of 10 times. But like, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, yeah. So I really liked, I liked the New Jersey ones. I don't know. Those were kind I know they're like wild Because you like the wild colors. The gross. Christmas. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were cool. Um, and then what, what was the, there was one more that I really liked. I'm scrolling through them. Did like, you see that the New Gophers York. and Pittsburgh basically released the same Jersey? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and the Gophers, those are uh, good, again, released on Monday. Um, same, same time that the wild released theirs for their hundredth year. And I thought those are sharp. I mean, bring back those yellow breezers, man. That's so oh, God, Those they, are so cool. Those yeah. are so great. So I yeah. love it. Yeah. I would say the Capitals one is the other one. Oh, uh, the yes, last of my the favorites. Yeah, yeah. That one. I love that Jersey. So yeah, and they did a good job cool combining ones. their jerseys too. And they that was did. the thing. Like, and that's where Dallas, I thought, failed too a little bit. It's like you could have played around with some different elements. You know what I didn't um, like? The um, what's it called? Like the um, oh my gradient, the gradient Vancouver jersey. Did yeah. not like that. Did not yeah. like that. It was not a good look. Yeah. Right. So some teams nailed it. Some could have tried a little bit harder. I think some just really played it safe and it's like, ah, you had a chance to do something cool and you really didn't. So all in all, it was at least <laughs> nice to see a buzz in the hockey world yes. for a day of like something good and fun and like yeah. different people about it. Yeah. So.